Okay. You good? Can you give it a clap? No need for that clap. <laughs> okay, guys, so I am in Lyon. Lyon. It is, what day is it today? Friday? It's a good question. Friday, I believe. It is Friday, July the something, 5th, because it was the 4th yesterday. Happy 4th to my American brethren. Um, and we are going to, this is Alana from Soccer Girl Probs, hashtag SGP. Good. And we're going to have a quick little talk mm -hmm. about World Cup final predictions. The Coupe du Monde. Coupe du Monde. Okay. Prediction. So fluent, I can't even hang with him. Basically, what's happened is that I did years of French at, at school, at high school, and I was terrible at it. Um, I failed a lot. But what it is, is Americans. They can't stand the fact that I'm actually quite fluent. Yeah. And they, I don't know, they're just hating on it, aren't they? He's getting complimented by like, yeah. all the French here. All so. the French are like, ah, oh, merci beaucoup. You tu, sound like you. Tu très bien. And I'm like, wait, 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 please, I know, please. Nice um, class over here. I am a great uh, tourist French. So we're talking about World Cup mm -hmm. final predictions. First of all, the semi-finals. One of them lived up to the billing. I think it's one of the best games of football I've seen for a long time. And the other one was a little bit of a, uh, I wouldn't say boring, but I'd say it's a, a lot more of a, a tactical chess match. Yeah, yes. It's right. so funny, it really was. What did you think? First of all, what did you think of the Holland-Sweden game? It was, it's, I, my walking away from it, I'm like, oh, that was such an uneventful game. But then when I really do think about sitting there, it, it was a game of the defenses, I feel like. Yeah. I do feel like uh, without some clutch saves made by both goalkeepers, that wouldn't have been the scoreless game that it was. There were a few tips that hit the post, right? Yeah, that I think both yeah. teams hit the, hit the so, bar in the post. For me to say uneventful is really not fair, but I, it's almost like they, like you were saying, it was so tactical and they matched up to the point where they almost canceled each other out, yeah. I feel like, at certain moments, yeah. to where it made you feel like Watching like, it. Who wants to see, yeah, like, kill, like kill each other for this? But like watching it, it kind of mm -hmm. looked like lethargic. Mm -hmm. Like almost, I said like almost like neither wanted to win it, but neither wanted to lose I it. No, and that's obviously yeah. just the perception from sitting in the stadium and watching. But yeah. yeah, during I know it didn't feel like the bloodbath that I felt the American. Yeah. Uh, so what, who were you most impressed with player-wise for for Holland? Because Sweden, sorry. You're out, so I wonder yeah. what we'll talk about you. Um, that's funny. I mean, Lindahl, right, the goalkeeper. I, I, I was pleasantly surprised, and that maybe just naively was not. I didn't know much about her to begin yeah. with. Um, but she showed that she could step up big, so I definitely appreciated that. Um, and even when they made substitutions during that game, yeah, every was... sub brought like brought energy, and it, it made me nervous for Sweden every time they had a sub come in because you could immediately feel like all right, they turn the volume up level just a little bit higher, like the energy level would go up a little bit higher and, yeah. and everyone would kind of step up to the level of the energy that the, the substitute brought I thought in. Um, Van der Sander, when she came on, she was like, she was Let's electric. Go. Yeah. yeah, and even though I felt like she was making runs that were even like wasted and she wasn't sending the best balls in, just the energy level that she brought, everyone on the team kind of stepped up to kind of match her energy level. I was level. a little bit disappointed in the haircut. I know, no, uh, the tiger no the print, leopard print, print yeah, I know, it but gone? it was, uh, it was almost Rapino purplish. It was purple, yeah. purple, but I thought she came on and gave the energy yeah. and, so they bring and energy. they got the goal. So it's a US the against too. Um, Holland because the US beat my other country, mm -hmm. England. So he's um, now a US fan again. I was anyway. Yeah. To be honest, it's like, torn. oh, hang on, this gimbal doesn't want you on it, look. <laughs> it's not, it's literally, you have oh. no, no, I know what that. I'm doing, guys. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Um, um, back. So they beat, <laughs> they, oh, I don't like me now. There, there we, we go. go. So they beat um, England in the game of the century. They were, it, it was so exciting. I held my breath for like yeah. 90 minutes. Like when when sure. Ellen scored that goal and like her nose was offside, and it was off, mm -hmm. right? By but my smash. word, I was with the England families and I, it, the, the wind got taken out of them with that. But then the penalty, oh my God. That, that was the, really the wind, yeah. the wind sucker. And I feel, like, I feel like England lost that game. They lost it for themselves by not. In the beginning, that offsides call, I, 
I felt that like call? offside call. You know, offside is impossible, yes, right? Because you're yeah. you're either on your side or, or you're off. off. I'll, I'll explain. Yeah, we'll you're either on your side lesson. or you're off your side. Hence, you cannot be off sides because it's not plural. So you you can't be off. I'm pretty sure that if we rewind that take back, you just said you're either on your sides. No, I didn't. Well, maybe I'll edit it, so I didn't. So you can't be off right. on both sides. That offside call. Right, can you can't be off both on offside. I just want you to agree because yeah, I, I have had to call you out about this I will, before. I and know, and you're I feel will, like I failed. And this won't be the last time that he calls us off. Okay, so. guys, she was offsides. Offside. But okay. wait, I really do feel like that offside call. Um, I felt as a U.S. fan that it did rob England a little bit. So I was happy when that PK opportunity came back because I was like, fine, this is the equalizer yeah. that everyone that wants to complain about that call, this was your chance to make up for it. And I don't, do you think that Alyssa Nair just read it like it was too predictable and you she know, just read it so well? Because it wasn't even like she just got a hand I on think it, it was a poor penalty, honestly. I don't think um, Steph Helton hit it hard enough. And it's, it's so easy to say that sat here, isn't it? Yeah. It's a World Cup semi final. Um, but I think it wasn't the greatest penalty and I thought Alyssa did really well reading it. And I was so happy for Alyssa because she's been getting so much stick. So much, for, just so much doubt. Nothing. Yes. For nothing, like, you know, what she's had to do, she's had, she's done it. Yeah. Like, why do we, why have we got to be like with goalkeepers that, unless they like pull out mental saves mm -hmm. in games that don't, you know, the the team's winning anyway. And they're just doubting her for yeah. what she is on paper, and that's I what I hate. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, she's flappy. What? When? Yeah. Well, you we know? have what evidence do you? You know, have I feel to? like we have to to get behind. Have the a little goalkeeper. more faith in people. Yeah. yeah. I agree so with I was you. really happy that she saved that. That was awesome. Yeah, that was a good moment. Um, so this is the question: Who do you think in the final? Oh, by the way, Rachel Daly was phenomenal. Absolutely, best player on I the know. field for England. I actually. So if England were going to lose, that's what I wanted. Okay, I and that, her matchup with Kelly O'Hara was like. Oh my god, it was like entertaining, and it's, I didn't even need to be watching the rest of the game because the two of them matching up yeah. the whole game was it was it was like something a, to see. Muhammad Ali versus George Foreman. With, <laughs> Part ten. That I guess that is. An but it was good thing. though because I feel like they're both like very technical players, but they're very physical at the same time. Yeah, going at it. And I was like, with oh. everything they had for yeah. the whole game, like relentlessly. So I did. It was it. like under armor, under armor crime. It was. Wasn't it? Um, <laughs> I didn't but think of that. I was very glad that neither of them got injured. Yeah, that is very true. It was very. They were very physical the whole yeah, game. Yeah, I didn't want to hear about it. Yeah. Um, so the final. You know what? The the one thing that concerns me is like on Twitter and everything. Everyone's everyone acting like we won already. I have a few concerns. Mm. We're talking, granted, yes, the U.S. has a ton of momentum behind them. They're now on record-breaking winning streak. I'll switch hands. I understand we're getting a little tired there. You've yeah. got to hit haven't crossfit been able to, I haven't been able to work out for <laughs> months because of my concussion, but please make fun of it. <laughs> it's cool. Thanks. Yes, I'm terrible. Appreciate I know. Um, no, but a lot of people are like, oh, this is, should so be a USA win that. I feel like we're getting a little too confident about it and we're we're not just going up against any team we're going up against a team this is their second only world cup ever yeah they're coming off of being europe, europe cha european, european champions. champions they're running on such momentum they have such good support behind them in the stadium i think it's going to be a bigger game than people are yeah. expecting it to be. i will say if they play like they played against sweden could be a yes. bloodbath but we did just bump into uh mal Pugh and sonnet and they're not taking it lightly at all. Yeah. So, you know, player perspective, they're not um, mm -hmm. going in big time. They they would definitely respect the opposition. Yeah. Um, if anyone was big time in in that conversation, it was me. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not lying. I'm like I want <laughs> I want I'm not gonna lie. I want the US to smash them. I do. I, I, I don't. I want it to be like the last game World Cup against Japan. I want us to go out and just smash. Yeah. Um, early doors and then stamp on their neck for the whole rest of the yeah, match yeah honestly um, and I'm just biased from player perspective because of who we work with it's I've seen their hard work and I want them to go out and do it yeah. but I do think it's it's going to be a lot more difficult than people think because yeah. defensively they were good and obviously they're, they're, they're pretty disciplined shape wise which isn't um, which isn't good yeah, well and you gotta they're also going to battle a keeper that has now shown that she can step up yeah. when it matters so 
going to be very, it's going to be very, very interesting game. I do believe that US is going to come out on top, but I think it's going to be much more entertaining. Okay, so let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Score prediction, go. You can't steal mine that I told you earlier. Okay. I can't steal yours. No. This might be crazy. Crazy? Because I can't baby? steal yours. I honestly would steal yours, but I'm going to say even 4-1. Okay. I don't think it's going to be scoreless. You didn't specify it. <laughs> yes. Yes, to Holland. No. No, I do. I feel like it's going to start off close, where it's going to be a very close scoring game, but then I do think once we settle into the way that we're supposed to play, we kind of find our rhythm of the game, that then the goals are going to start to come yeah. after that. But I do think, I don't think it's going to be scoreless for Holland. Um, what do you think? Why don't you let everyone know? I think 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. Um, Which is really what I want to say. And it wouldn't surprise me if they scored first, because we're like the US, I really? think, yeah. And I think that's why we win three run, because we I feel like the US are always at their best when their backs are against the wall. It's like we come out fighting. Well, you're talking sixth game in a row where we've scored in what under the, in the first twelve yeah. minutes of the game. Yeah. Um, Which it gives that's a huge uh, like relief yeah, for a team is. to then finally. Like, I also think that's in. dangerous though, isn't it, when you score yeah. early? Cause... Yeah, no, you, you kind of get on your heels yeah. a little bit maybe. So I think three one. Um, mm -hmm. I think Morgan to take Golden Boot. Um, but She's that's, in the lead right now, yeah, right? We're tied in the tied, lead. But that's because I'm incredibly biased. I wouldn't care less mm -hmm. if someone else on the US took it. That's mm -hmm. fine as well. <laughs> Who cares? Um, who's your player of the tournament? Of the tournament? Yeah. Oh, gosh. That is like... Obviously, it's before the World Cup final game. Yeah. Um, God, I don't know. We've seen so many people step up and like... So it's hard because every game I feel like a different person has stepped up. Yeah. Like last game, I, I wish I got to see Kristen Press play like that every game of the tournament, but mm. she just hasn't uh, been in. I think Lindsay Rand's been incredible in the middle when she's in the middle as well. God, that's yeah. a really hard question. I know. I'm sorry to throw it up. I know. Um, Sammy's done well though. As I well. also, I was going to say Haran or Sammy, but it's hard because they've been interchangeable for each yeah. other and but that's and okay around. isn't it how, how deep yeah, I how do deep love that. is the bench it's like that BG yeah. song how deep is your love how I, deep I, is I, your you know bench do, 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 do. you know yeah, great song um, okay we're, we're running out of time and I'm not going to answer player of the tournament till after of the game you are. so <laughs> that's me so soccer girl probs are doing a pickup game where god well same place as last same time same place as last time it's Rue de France I don't know where it is um, however, way. check my Instagram because yeah. I will upload it um, on the story as soon as we know. It's the game before the game. Ga the, the game before oh, the, game. the game. And I will probably be there, but I'm not allowed to play because of my concussion. That's true. So we got him a set of pom poms. See, this stabilizer. Oh, look, stabilizer, <laughs> oh, man. <you> just <laughs> <laughs> I broke everything. On that note. On that note. Peace out. Let me know your uh, predictions beneath this. Yeah. I think I'm going to put this on everything and be annoying. Yeah. Put it on Facebook and YouTube yeah. and, and everything and Instagram. So just. And I want to hear player of the tournament opinions yeah. as well because. But that's it's got to be question. before the game. Yeah. Not like me. And you have to justify it. Yeah. Don't be a <laughs> like me. Just actually make. A <laughs> oh, decision. we're allowed to curse. Can we redo this whole thing? I only I. am Okay. Fine. Um, right. Yeah. So. Maybe I'll beat that out. Would you like to send us off with some French? Oui, uh, mon chance is that they do need a couple of months, I hope Holland lose. Au revoir. Peace.